Hey guys, and welcome back to another Coin Informer video. So today we're looking at some prepaid news. Um, and overall, just cell phone news, see what's coming up. So as you can see, this is brought to you by prepaidphonenews.com so I can get a lot of information. So can you from basically prepaid carriers and other MVNOs, and all that stuff, you know, just cell phone related. And that's the kind of news I like bringing to you. So let's get to you. Um, I'm recording with the Samsung Galaxy J7 um, Refine for all you Boost Mobile fans out there. So let me know how the quality the quality looks. It is nighttime, and I do have uh, basically an LED light source coming towards it. But let's get to the video and see what's new with the news. So it says Spectrum Mobile launches. So guys, today Spectrum Mobile officially launches. So no iPhones, no bring your own phone, and pricier than Xfinity Mobile. I actually have wanted to try out Xfinity Mobile but it's not available in my area, guys. I'm in North Carolina and they just don't offer it. So that kind of sucks for all you people out there that have it. Well, you know, check it out. Uh, <laughs> so it says, introducing Spectrum Mobile right there. Best network, best device, best value. Let's go ahead and see if that's really the deal. So it says, as expected, Spectrum Wireless launch today. So it's officially called Spectrum Wireless. Spectrum is Spectrum is a Verizon MVNO, so it is using Verizon Towers, or the service at least, which is nice, you know, Verizon is like the number one carrier in the U.S. currently, so that's nice, you know, you at least you know you'll have coverage everywhere, and Xfinity Mobile basically, I believe, does the same thing, so from cable broadband and TV provider Charter, so um, I do have Spectrum here in my house, this is what is powering the home's Wi-Fi, so let's see if I'm eligible, so let's get to it. Uh, it says Charter is following in the footsteps of its cable rival Comcast, which unveiled X Xfinity Mobile a year ago. So Xfinity Mobile has been out already a year, and basically Spectrum is basically coming out just now. So Spectrum Wireless and Xfinity Mobile are similar in many respects, but there are also some significant differences. Similarities between Spectrum and Xfinity include that both run on the Verizon network and have two plans, an unlimited and <laughs> an unlimited one with unlimited talk messaging and data um and a and a buy the gig plan where the voice and messaging are unlimited and data is charged based on usage okay okay so both cable mvnos let users connect to their network of wi-fi hotspots at no charge um, and are only available to customers of their respective cable broadband service. So you basically have to have Xfinity Mobile or Comcast to use theirs, and you have to have uh, Spectrum or Time Warner Cable, which got bought out basically, um, to use these services. So if you don't have it, guys, I guess you can get the service. Um, so it says both Spectrum and Xfinity throttle video streaming to force 480p or lower resolution and add taxes and fees on top of plant prices, guys. So that's, I mean, for the price, it better be cheap because a lot of people don't want to watch videos in 480p. I mean, at least 720 minimum, I would say, but we really want that 4K, you know what I mean? So here are differences of Spectrum Plan and how they are different than Xfinity. So now we're getting to what's different between these two um, carriers, basically. So or uh, companies, you know, by the gig. So includes unlimited voice and messaging and one gig of data for $14 a month. What, $14 a month? Whoa, that's cheap. Each additional whole whole or partial gigabyte of data costs another 14. Wow, so if you want two gigs, that's $28 right there. Hotspot is allowed with no speed restrictions. Wow. Up to four lines can be added at no cost. With all line, with all lines data use combined, wow! So if you have four lines with one gig. Wow, that's I mean you can blow through that in no time. Xfinity charges less though, twelve gigs or twelve dollars per gig, and doesn't charge for the first hundred megabytes of data use. Wow, that means that light data users get free, except for taxes and fees, talk and text on Xfinity, but pay fourteen dollars on Spectrum. So. Xfinity is two dollars cheaper than Spectrum, but let's let's get to the more better deals, which is unlimited. So unlimited, it says forty five dollars a month for unlimited voice messaging and data, with the first twenty gigabytes at high speed, and the rest uh, throttled to on un, unspecific slower speeds, 
probably 128 kilobytes per second, which is basically unusable. It's, it's gonna be dirt slow, man. Hotspot is supported, but it's throttled to 600 kilobits per second after five gigabytes. So you only get five gigabytes of high-speed data. After that, it's slowed down. All hotspot usage counts towards your high-speed data cap. Spectrum's unlimited plan seems to be identical to Xfinity in price, features, and limitations. Both Spectrum and Xfinity MVNOs charge an extra fee, monthly fee if a user cancels their cable broadband service. Wow, so basically you cancel your cable, which I don't even have cable with Spectrum, I just use their internet. Um, it's saying that it's basically gonna charge you extra. So with Xfinity, the fee is $10 a month, but with Spectrum, it's $20 a month. Wow, so if you don't have their cable service, basically they charge an extra $20 which instead of 45 will be 65 at that rate, you might as well just get, you know, Verizon prepaid or just contract or whatever, you know, um, Spectrum doesn't allow customers to use their own phone with its service. Wow. That's stupid right there. So if I, if I, I have an iPhone unlocked, an unlocked iPhone, I can't even use it with this service. Xfinity allows customers to bring their own phones as long as they are iPhones. Spectrum mobile customers must purchase a new phone from Spectrum. At launch, there are only five phones. Wow, this okay. The, the service is good. Forty-five dollars a month for twenty gigs of Verizon service is is good, but you can't bring your own phone. Um, so at, at launch, there are only five phones available, and none of them are iPhones. So if you're an iPhone user, guess what? You're out of luck. <laughs> the available phones are LG K30, which is one hundred one hundred seventy-nine ninety-nine, or seven dollars. 750 a month for 24 months. So wow, what are we in a contract now? Ooh, a Samsung Galaxy S8. Wow, for 600 or 25 dollars a month for 24 months, the Samsung Galaxy S8, which is 700 dollars, or 29.7 for a month for 24 months, a Samsung Galaxy S9, which is 749.99 or 31.25 a month. Or a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus at $849.99. Wow, that's a lot cheaper than when I got my S9 Plus, guys. I did get it when it first came out, though. <laughs> or $35.42 a month added on top of uh, that $45 plus, and there's taxes and fees and all that stuff. So, with pricey phones, no bring your own phone, no iPhones, and higher prices, Spectrum Mobile doesn't seem very competitive compared to Xfinity Mobile. Of course, the two MVNOs don't really compete with each other. Spectrum Mobile is only available to charter charter cable customers and Xfinity Mobile is only available to Comcast cable users. And the two cable brands are rarely, if even available in the same address. That's what I was saying earlier is I can't even get Xfinity or Comcast in my area. It's Spectrum. So it's like, okay, you get the east side, we'll get the west side or something. I don't know how that goes. You know, they don't want to step on each other's turf. Uh, Spectrum Mobile is only available to da, da, da. Let's see. The real purpose of both cable MVNOs seem to, to be to help retain cable subscribers by offering a bundle of cable and wireless that's cheaper overall than combining a lower cost broadband provider with a Verizon and or other post-pay wireless plan. Uh, so it's basically saying it's trying to keep its cable customers and it's offering a cheap cell phone service, which everybody uses. Um, so let's see if Spectrum Mobile's website's actually up and running now. So let's go ahead and see. Ooh. So there we go, Spectrum Mobile. So introducing Spectrum Mobile, best network, best devices, best value. So there you go, it's right out the gate, guys. It's showing, boom, red. Everybody knows red means Verizon, so. Um, and then you can check your SIP code and all that stuff, you know, but I mean, it's, it's basically covered everywhere, you know, I'm over here on the east side where um, Spectrum's covered. So, I mean, look at that. It's all red. I mean, over here on uh, by California or, or the west side, it's, it's, it's a little bit more spotty, I would say, but best network, best devices, best value. Spectrum Mobile is your smart choice. So unlimited right there per line is 45 uh by the gig is 14 gigs and here's the phones that it offers so as you can see the k30 guys and then it tells you on the bottom how much it is per month the s9 the s8 and the s8 plus and then there's i believe another phone right here uh the s9 plus so all the pricing was correct guys um 
and then you can as well learn more of the of the limited so one great price per line for a limited whether you're shopping for yourself or for a group you'll pay forty dollars per line for a limited monthly data one line any line same great price per line so wow and then we can shop more freedom to change your data options so if you want to pay per gig you can but why wouldn't you pay 45 and just get unlimited you know which is pretty cheap wow talk text and roam the world uh, wow so that's pretty cool planning a trip abroad spectrum mobile offers international roaming in over 200 countries if you are if uh, see if your destination is covered on our international service page and learn more about competitive rates and of course you can shop phones sorry this light's starting to kind of like <laughs> blind me a little bit um but yeah then you just i don't know let's say you just want i don't know an s s9 or an s8 i mean 64 gigs of course let's get that black going on and then blah 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 big plan you can add protection all that stuff and then so six hundred dollars so let's get started spectrum uh, customer entity. So right out, right off the gate again, it's saying it's only available for Spectrum customers. Are you a customer? And then of course I click yes, and it's gonna ask me for the account information. But yeah, guys. So let me know in the comments below this Dragonic Warfare sign off, guys. What do you think about Spectrum Mobile? Is this something you're thinking about? Like I said, if it's available for you, you know, if you're watching me from California, of course, it's probably not gonna be available for you. But for all my people on the east side that have Spectrum. Or had time worn cable like I did before they got bought out, but bought out by Spectrum. You know, is this something you're thinking about? I mean, I don't know, guys, because if you do cancel your your service, it's an extra twenty dollars. So I mean, still sixty five. You know, it's it's pretty cheap for unlimited data. But uh, like I said, it's not true unlimited data because it's only twenty gigs of high speed data, guys. So check that out. So let me in the comments below what you think, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Check out Net Buddy. It offers you unlimited AT and T hotspot, true unlimited data. At that, for only $60 a month, use my promo link and code to save an extra $10. So, thank you guys.